welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be discussing some of the most coveted things on the internet. But before we get into today's video, please make sure that you are subscribed and be sure to hit the notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload a video. And if you enjoy the video, I'd greatly appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up because it really does help my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Let me just give a little disclaimer to those of you who are here for natural hair content. We'll get into that another time. If this is not the video for you, boo, I understand. But today, we are going to dive into some fragrance. And I'm hype as hell. FYI, I will have every single fragrance that we discussed today listed down in the description box. So if you are interested in picking up any single thing that I mentioned today, please make sure that you purchase through my links down below. Now, back to the matter at hand. Instagram has already seen this, so if you are not following me on Instagram, make sure you do that. That way you can get the scoop before I upload it to YouTube. Regardless, the Instagram crew already knows that I picked up the Ariana Grande Thank You Next 2.0. Apparently, Ariana Grande is not really promoting this. She hasn't announced it. People are just kind of coming across it randomly. This fragrance was around $35 for one fluid ounce and it's exclusively sold at Select Walgreens. The plastic is still on this because I was saving this moment to share with you. I will say that I did test the body spray of this, but I haven't tested the Eau de Parfum concentration. So I'm excited to see how this is going to wear on the skin. So this is what the box looks like. The packaging is this kind of lavender and iridescent with the text on this side. And then we have Ariana Grande herself posing with the actual bottle of the fragrance on this side. I am going to open this up. The bottle itself is made of glass, but the cap, I mean, it's plastic, but it's still cute. It's really, really minimal, very Ariana Grande style. Ariana Grande fragrances, at least the ones that I've tried, always have these little kind of inserts, I guess you could say, where you can just kind of house the fragrance in case you want to display it really cutely. So that's not really my style. This is a little gaudy to me. So this is... This is more my speed. Before we even get into the nitty gritty, I could not find the perfume formulation for in-store pickup on Walgreens website at all. It is completely sold out. If you know me, you know I'm an order online, pick up in-store type of girl. Because this is so coveted child, people are grabbing these and selling them for two, three, four, five times the price on Macari and eBay. So I would suggest riding around to your local Walgreens and seeing if you can find it, if you are interested. I was able to find the body spray formulation at one of my local Walgreens ironically when I go into the store to pick up the body spray I just happened to go to the fragrance counter and boom saw the fragrance and the body spray on display according to Fragrantica this is considered a fruity floral absolutely the top notes are definitely fruity strawberry there's also pomegranate and apple in the top notes I'm getting a little bit of apple, not so much pomegranate drying down for me on the skin I'm still getting that really fresh fruity opening but it's also sweet. If you are familiar with any of Ariana Grande fragrances, she loves to add musk and marshmallow. So that's definitely giving me that sweetness and that kind of powderiness, but it's not very powdery at all. In fact, like the very opening kind of reminds me of YSL's Mon Paris, but I have to say that this is a little more fresh Whereas the Mon Paris has a bit more depth to it. I don't want to say that this is immature or juvenile, but I also can't say it's a very mature fragrance either. It's been a few minutes since I first sprayed it and there's almost like a, like a creaminess to it. There's also a juicy kind of fizzy element to it. I just opened the box with this so I can't really speak to the longevity and the projection of this. I'm really impressed. It's really, it's a lot more potent than I thought it would be. I wouldn't say this is signature scent worthy, but it's definitely everyday scent worthy. Something you can just kind of wear in your bag and throw on in case you want to smell nice and sweet and fresh, especially during the spring summer months. It's really nice and it's affordable. It's unfortunate that it's not really accessible. So again, this is Thank You Next 2.0 by Ariana Grande. The next fragrance I want to discuss is probably the real reason you all are here. The Fenty Eau de Parfum and as you can see it is still in the box that they shipped it in because I was saving this moment to share with you. So let me go ahead and cut open the box. So this is how they package the box with the Fenty Skin logo embossed into the packaging. Love to see it. And they have it wrapped up in this wrapping paper and 
this is how the box looks. As far as I know, she is actually doing five early releases because this fragrance reminds her of five different places that she just loves. This is the Bridgeton. I think there's a Paris one. There is one for New York. And then two others, I'll leave that information linked down below as well as on the screen. So I just took the plastic off of the box and this is what we have. It actually matches my background, ironically. And you just slide the fragrance out of the box just like this. This is what it looks like. I did do a full unboxing on TikTok and Instagram, so make sure you check those out if you want to see all of the details of the packaging. So this is what the bottle looks like up close. It is 2.5 fluid ounces, all brown packaging, really minimal. You can also see the Fenty is embossed on the cap. It is heavy beauty glass and it just feels luxurious. As far as pricing, it's definitely kind of middle of the road. It's not Baccarat 540, but it's also not Juicy Couture. This is considered a floral and woody fragrance. I am going to spray, Let's see what we get. The opening, very citrusy, almost medicinal. The top notes of this are tangerine and blueberry. So you definitely get that, that zing, that kind of fresh boost at the opening. The middle is definitely floral, more rose, and I think that there's magnolia as well. It's been a few minutes since I initially sprayed it. And the floral, somewhat powderiness is here. As it dries down, you definitely get the musk and the patchouli, but the patchouli isn't dirty, and the musk isn't animalic. If I were myself, I would not blind by this, but because of who I am as a person, here we are. I did read that Rihanna actually used all middle notes, but what's odd to me is that I can still smell the citrus as it dries down. I am a huge supporter of wear what you want, when you want, how you want. If this is giving date night vibe. This won't be for everyone, oh, but honey, it's for me. Because I just opened this with you all, I cannot speak to the projection and the longevity of this. Of course, I'll be wearing this over time and I'll have to report back about my experience with it. First impressions, this is grown and sexy AF and you all know how I feel about grown and sexy fragrance. As far as I'm concerned, this was worth the investment, but if you are not sure about how your nose may enjoy the notes, I would suggest getting a sample or at least waiting until it's in store and accessible for you to test. Of course, this is based on first impressions, but I feel like this has a little bit of something for everyone. It has a little bit of fruitiness. There's also a bit of spice and powderiness. So again, I don't think that this is going to be a good blind buy for everyone. Again, this is Fenty Eau de Parfum. So that about wraps up today's Coveted Fragrance Haul or whatever I wind up naming this video. Make sure you drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. And on your way to watching another video of mine, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Please, please be safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.